The transition settings allow you to specify the duration, the delay, and the easing function of the animation when transitioning from one point to another. This works in conjunction with effects, filters, transforms, and more. On its own, transitions will do nothing. So when I roll into this heading I have here, you'll see nothing happens. We need to change some values here on the end point for it to work. So let's go into transforms and currently it's set to none. And we want to add a transition on hover. So right now it still does nothing because we haven't changed the start or the end point. So let's go to the end point. And if I let's scale this to 110. So now when I hover into the heading area, we'll see the transition take place. You can stack up multiple values. So we could, um, at the beginning, we could have the text rotated. And now when I hover in, both of those things occur. Let's turn that off. And you can stack these up with filters or effects. So um, here you can change the blur, the brightness, things like that. Um, let's go to effects and switch it to hover and we can change the opacity. So on the start setting, uh, let's bring the opacity down. And now when I roll in, it transitions from um, from smaller text and being slightly transparent to enlarging. So you can stack these up for some really nice effects. Currently the hover is happening on self, but you could change it to the parent. So that uh, in this case, that is the container here. So now when I roll in, um, well, when I roll into here, the opacity transition is happening on the parent and the resizing is happening just on self. And we can obviously update that. So I go back into transforms and I can tell the scaling to be on parent as well. So now when I roll into here, both effects happen. So let's go back to transitions and we can set the delay on this. Um, this is done in milliseconds, just like the duration of the transformation. So if we set this to 1000, the effect won't happen until one second has passed. And again, when we leave the area, it takes the delay is set to 1000. We can also change how long the animation takes. So if I set this to 2000, that's two seconds. And now when I roll in, you can see that happens very subtly over two seconds. I can change the function. We can set it to linear which is a linear speed, so there's no ramp up or ramp down in speed of that transition happening. There's also a custom setting, so you can set your own uh, custom curve for the animation. Refer to the documentation on how to do this. Um, it's a bit too in-depth to cover in this video, but I often find that the ease in and ease out works quite nicely for most situations. Okay, so let's just take another a uh, quick look at another example. I've got a button here and my transitions are set up by default. I think 300, this is the default setup here. So you often don't need to change this. Um, but let's go to, we can change the background of my button here. So let's go to, it's already set up to hover and on the end state, I want the button to get a little bit darker. So now you can see when I hover in, the button is getting darker. Um, we might also like to stack up another um, transform here so the button can get bigger when we hover over it. So the start is set to zero, the end, we'll just put that to 110. So now when I hover in here, the button gets darker and it enlarges there, which is very nice. Um, we can stack up as many of these as we like on here, um, I now have a, this is setting a box shadow on the start. So you can see a shadow under there. And on the end, we could change that uh, to a large shadow. Maybe that's too large. Um, 
So there we go. So now the button is scaling. It gets darker as it comes towards us and the shadow gets softer. So you can do some really nice effects with these. And one last thing, we can also change the background color of things um, uh, like on this container. So we've got a start and end point and we could switch to a completely different color. So now when I hover into here, the, that changes to blue. So this is really powerful stuff. That wraps up this video. Please refer to the documentation for more details on how transitions work. Yeah.